Shana Michelle Hubers was born in Lexington, Kentucky on April 8, 1991. She spent the first 19 years of her life obsessed with school and her friends described her as being a genius. Her academic excellence continued after high school as she graduated cum laude from the University of Kentucky in three years. In 2011, 19-year-old Shayna met a 28-year-old lawyer named Ryan Poston on Facebook. He had sent her a friend request in March after seeing a picture she'd posted of herself in a bikini. Shayna accepted the request and wrote back, quote, How do I know you? You're gorgeous, by the way. End quote. Ryan responded, quote, You're not too bad yourself. End quote. After exchanging messages for a while, Shayna and Ryan would eventually meet in person. They hit it off and started dating, but Ryan soon realized he didn't want to be in a serious relationship. He had just broken up with his long-term girlfriend, Lauren Worley. He began to lose interest in Shayna and tried unsuccessfully to cut things off. During their 18 months together, many of Ryan Poston's friends looked on in concern as his relationship with Shayna hit bump after bump. As Ryan tried to pull away, Shayna wanted to tighten her hold on him. Ryan's friend said she was overly infatuated with him, and the couple kept breaking up and getting back together. One of his friends would later say, quote, She was just obsessed with him. I think she had a goal, in the beginning, to make him settle down with her. End quote. Others saw the relationship a little differently. One of Poston's neighbors, Nikki Carnes, said Ryan frequently made cruel comments about Shayna's appearance. She thought that Ryan was playing mind games with his younger girlfriend. Shayna's feelings towards Ryan had started to turn negative. She messaged a friend saying, quote, My love has turned to hate. End quote. She claimed that Poston only stayed with her because he felt bad about breaking up with her. Shayna also said she visited a gun range with Ryan and thought about shooting him. On October 12, 2012, Ryan Poston had arranged to go on a date with Miss Ohio, Audrey Bolt. As he was preparing to leave his apartment, Shayna showed up. They fought, and Huber shot Ryan six times. She then called 911 and was taken into custody. Kim Kelly 911. Ma'am. I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. What did you kill him with? A gun, a loaded gun in the house. Tell me where the gun is right now. A gun is in the house. I laid it on the bookshelf. Where are you? I'm standing about 10 feet from his dead body. Okay, are you sure that he is dead? He's dead, ma'am. He's completely dead. Okay. And how long ago did you shoot him? I don't know, 15, 10, 10 or 15 minutes, not even that long. Like 10 or 15, 15 minutes ago? Yeah. Okay, what's yeah. your name? My name is Shana Michelle Huber. The officers don't want me to stay on the line with you, so when you get when they get there, they're going to want to know where that gun is, and we want you to get out safely too, okay? Okay, are they going to arrest me? Ma'am, I don't know what they'll do. We're going to send send them out. I'm going to stay on the line with you, okay? I mean, I'm not a murderer, ma'am. I just killed him. So what, well, what happened exactly? What happened? He beat me and tried to carry me out of the house, and I came back in to get my things, and he was right in front of me, and he reached down and grabbed the gun, and I grabbed it out of his hand and pulled the trigger. Okay. All right. Do you need an ambulance? Have you been injured? I'm not injured, ma'am. I was thrown into the side of the couch. All right. What's his name? Ryan Carter Poston. He's an attorney in Cincinnati. Okay. Have you had a history of domestic violence with him? Yes. Okay. And is this your gun? No, this is his gun. He keeps loaded guns in the house. So he, he slammed you into the couch, but you don't have any injuries? I don't have any injuries. I was just very frightened. He's a lot bigger than me. He's 6'3", 200 pounds. I'm 5'8", 120. And he, and he picked me up, and I said, let me get my things at least if we're going to break up. And he threw me across the room, and I was very startled. I was laying on the floor. Okay. And I killed him. Ma'am, you're sure he's not breathing at all? Do I have to go touch him? 
No, that's okay. They actually have someone that's outside almost right now, but I'm going to stay on line with you, okay? Sam, and then because he was twitching and I knew he was going to die anyway, and he was making funny noises, I shot him a couple more times just to kill him because I knew he would have been... I'm sorry, you said you shot him a couple more times after that? Yeah, I... I How many I times did you shoot him total? I don't know. <laughs> okay, because he was twitching and you knew he was going to die, so you shot him again? Investigators found Shayna Huber's behavior to be bizarre. She'd waited 10 to 15 minutes to call 911 after shooting Ryan, which she claimed she'd done in self-defense. And once the police brought her to the station, she didn't stop talking. When investigators looked into Poston and Huber's text history, they found that for every message Poston sent, Huber sent dozens in response. Sometimes Shayna would send 50 to 100 messages a day. They found texts to his cousin saying, quote, This is getting to be restraining order level crazy. She's shown up at my condo like three times and refuses to leave each time. Shayna is literally the craziest fucking person I have ever met. She almost scares me. End quote. Though Hubris asked for an attorney, and police told her they wouldn't ask her questions until one arrived, she seemed unable to stay quiet. Screaming at me at the top of his lungs after he had thrown me around the room. And was saying emotionally to me, You're a I hate you. I hate everything about you for what you are and my family. He was screaming and he was he had his hand on the table and he wasn't completely standing up. He was like this. He was sitting he was announced it when I shot him, he was went like this. Literally. That's when I knew he was dead. Or close to it mm -hmm. and twitching. And that's and I couldn't I let him I still even though the hurt. I still, and that's on me, loved him. But I couldn't stand to watch him twitch. I knew he was going to die or have a completely deformed face. He's very vain. One of our last conversations we had that was good was that he wants my best friend who's a dentist to do with veneers and wants to get a nose job. Just that kind of person. And I shot him right here. I gave him his nose job. He wanted... I broke it. Once alone in the interrogation room, Shana Huber sang Amazing Grace, danced, pondered if anyone would marry her if they knew she'd killed her boyfriend, and screamed, quote, I did it. Yes, I did it. I can't believe I did that. End quote. I don't know if anyone will ever want to marry me if they know that I killed my boyfriend in self <laughs> I don't get any serious consequences, but I could really be happy just having a career and maybe not even ever getting married. I did. Yeah, I did. I can't 
believe I did that. She was charged with Ryan Poston's murder and went to trial in 2015. A jury quickly found her guilty, and Judge Fred Stein sentenced her to 40 years in prison, saying, quote, What I think happened in the apartment was little more than cold-blooded murder. It was probably as cold-blooded an act as I've been associated with in the criminal justice system in the 30-plus years I've been in it. End quote. The story of Shana Hubers didn't end in 2015. A juror at her trial had failed to disclose a felony, and she was granted a new trial. In 2018, she went to court again. In the end, however, Huber's second trial came to the same conclusion as her first. They found that she was guilty of the murder of Ryan Poston, and this time she was sentenced to life in prison. As of this recording, Shana Hubers is serving her sentence at the Kentucky Correctional Institution for Women. She is eligible for parole in 2032. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.